It's not by design. It's deliberate and it's by design. Shut the f up. The DNC, West Side, Bad Boy Killers, Aipak Shakur. It was only four nights, eight hours a night. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> okay, people, back again with another one. Bang Kakat. News and reacts. So I heard, I don't know if you're familiar, there's such a thing called the DNC, the Demon National Convention, right? In the U.S. In the U.S., you got to either vote for those guys or these guys, right? DNC is one of it. The, the D's, one of those guys, right? So they have these national conventions, political stuff, and they have artists, whatever, whatever they dance or whatever. They, they talk about genocide, how to, you know, do the next genocide and all that, right? At the convention. And there was this Turkish man who was, I don't know how he was in. He was a left winger. Definitely not, you know, pro demons or whatever whatever there was this turkish man who was invited to the convention like i don't know how he he was even invited in the first place and he got kicked out and he got kicked out uh, let's let's see what happened right are they giving you another place to go i don't know and what are we gonna do about our stuff why even let you in just to kick you bro this is the convention literally he's in the convention you can see here and he just got kicked Brown. out kicked guys out. come on we're at the democratic national convention there's a lot of things that are moving around okay there's a lot of moving parts at any given and any given moment they're not kicking me out of the convention they're just they're saying that they have to use this they kick him out base they wouldn't do this to cnn yeah no <laughs> they have to use this space <laughs> yo white people are just good at this it guest lighting oh, we need to use this space excuse me sir excuse me turkish man big turkish man um but we 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 need to use this space i mean not that space, not the whole room, just this, this one corner, this one uh, little corner that we put you, Turkish man. We need to use this particular space. They wouldn't do this to CNN, dog. I, I'm not CNN. What do you mean? The fact that I have CNN level access is already insane. Be for real, okay? I don't even know how I got this level of accommodation to begin with. Tell them your uncle Jank. Your uncle is Jank. Yeah, I'll yeah. tell them that. They gave him a worse space than me, so I don't know how that would work. Just kind of whack as you told him you'd want to do it all day. Yeah, I know. I literally said it's, uh, it's out of. At the end of the day, I don't know why. There's a double booking. Double like booking. <laughs> so I guess. Yo. Yo, double booking, double booking, yo, double booking. Yo, yo, you see the thing about double booking is whoever gets the place first gets the place. Whoever, you know, came later, don't get that. You know, when you double book, they like say you double book a room, right? If you're already in the room, you don't get, people don't tell you get out. The guy who... The other guy wants to what? What? He's not a double double booking. Yo, this yo, these demons, bro. These Democrats. This, they're so good at, at gaslighting. It's funny. It's comedy. It's double booking. It's a double, bro. At the end of the day, while they do uh, appreciate online, this guy uh, came all the way from Turkey, bro. The uh, level of and reverence and respect. He was already in the space. Just, and they told him it's double book. They told him his double book. This guy came all the way from Turkey, bro. I'm just kidding. He didn't come. He didn't come all the way from Turkey. He's just a Turkish guy. As far as I don't know who he is, but he's a Turkish guy. Some Turkish guy who got invited to the Demon Convention, and he was being, I think, he was being interviewed by a, an, a, a journalist, like a mainstream journalist, about being an online political commentator while this is happening they told him he was double book and they need to use the space not exactly up to par with he was talking about how how it is the difference between a mainstream journalist and 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 an online political commentator and they got like the difference like IRL, <laughs> they got served the difference between a mainstream journalist and an online political commentator. Like they got like a, a practical, you know, a practical, how should I say this? Like a practical example of the difference. You know, traditional media. This guy has to like, bro, I I this guy has to like pack his own things, you know, and all that. This is so sad, bro, watching this.
and he's Turkish too, so it makes it all sadder, you know. <laughs> this guy, yo. Yeah, that, you know, NBC would be getting kicked out randomly, but now you can tell your colleagues, like, no, I, I saw the largest online commentator get chucked out with sixty thousand people watching. You know, it happens. Sixty thousand watching. All right, we're ready to go. So let's let her rip. Hey. Shave your mustache like Mike Pillow. Yeah, I want to shave my mustache like Michael Pillow and come that? back in. Did you see the footage of that? I did. It was incredible. He got owned by. And this guy is 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 a journalist. Okay, he's interviewing him, and it happened while they were in the interview, bro. That's wild. These demons don't give a f, bro. Uh, let's see the reason why he got kicked. Um, this is pink is on, bro. You think I give it? We listened to her sing like eleven times earlier, dude. Like literally, the entire morning was this. <laughs> this was my entire goddamn morning, bro. I was right there. They're gonna show literally my studio in a second. Okay, like, do you see that band? I was right on top of them. Okay, this guy here, what happened to you at the DNC? We got kicked out. Did Oz actually get kicked out? No, I didn't get kicked out of the, I didn't get kicked out of the, uh, the I didn't get kicked out of the convention. Uh, I just got kicked out of the studio space that they had given me. Yo, he speaks good English for a Turkish guy. Don't you think? Um, and they did it in like a very weird way too. They did it literally during an interview that I was conducting with the New York Times about creators. The New York Times, bro. The New York Times. That's why. For Kamala, which is which makes it like extra crazy because it literally like that is a story in and of itself. I don't know if the guy will actually write about it or not, but like ultimately it was like a very weird thing to do uh, overall because like they had told me originally that NBC said earlier because of the super secret special guest DNC secured areas that nobody's allowed into. Yeah, it's Beyonce, bro. And it's probably Taylor Swift, maybe. I don't know. But I, but like the thing is, the thing that's like crazy about it is that, you know, they they told me that I was fine. Like they told me that I was fine, like that I had that I had this space that they had a lot of for me, that it was going to start late. Um, but then it turns out, you know, turns out it was not fine. Unceremoniously out of nowhere, they f what? It's George Bush. He's been working on his singing. The Democratic Party has two types, two kinds of people in it. Those who think there should be a Palestinian speaker and those who think they should give the time to Taylor Swift. I mean, it's like, that is true. Some super donor probably had you kicked out, so they had a box with their kid to watch Taylor Swift. I don't know how the box situation works. They guaranteed you the space for the whole day and then kicked you out in a way that completely f***ed your schedule. Yeah, but like also, also the other side of the story. Bearing in mind that this guy is has been doing pro-Palestine content for, I don't know, maybe almost a decade. And he's been talking-ish about these Ds, okay? The Ds, I call them the Ds. The Demon Nazi Convention. That's what, that's what the DNC is. The Demon Nazi Convention, okay? Like, I'm not like this guy. I'm not a political commentator. I can just say it. He's in America, so he has to kind of pander to, he has to be you know, polite about it, but is it the demon Nazi convention, the, the, the genocide convention? There was no, there's a Palestinian genocide happening in the world and there was no Palestinian representation in the convention. So that tells you what this convention was about. It's the demon Nazi conven convention, okay? And there were Palestinian, pro-Palestine pro protests outside the convention, but yeah, that was it. And I think this Turkish guy was even at the protests like a few days ago, whatever, whatever. Maybe they got a whiff of that. I don't know, but we're going to find out. He's going to explain it to us. Okay. The story is that like, honestly, the, the other side of the story ultimately is that like, I was never supposed to be at the DNC. You know what I mean? So I'll take it. I'll take all the moments that they gave me and all of the, uh, I, I will take like every aspect that uh, I'll take all of the access that I got. No way. If it was someone big, they would have done it earlier. No news already reported on creators being kicked out of their spot. Okay. I'm that's so cute chat. That's funny. You guys are funny. You did great the whole time. All the boosts were because <laughs> Jamie Harris is a piece of shit and playing awful. The arena got only shut down by the fire marshal to the point reporters can't get in. So they panicked and kicked out booths slash influencers for space. It's why the PAL delegates can't get in too. I've never experienced this as a journalist in my life. The DNC has told security at the United Center that journalists cannot be guaranteed re entrance into the arena if they get to use the restrooms. Yeah, so uh, that does make sense. That does make sense. That's literally the reason why I left because Ilan Omar could not exit the arena. So that made it so that that made it so that I was like, oh, there's no way I'm going to be able to talk to them. Do you understand? Like that it, it is like, I'm sure that that is part of the reason why I got cooked. I'm sure that that is part of the reason why I got cooked. Okay, definitely. 
it's still wag because you know i got like was dnc too successful i don't think so but but that's why i left the reason why i left is because i knew that it was uh, i knew that it was chaotic and i didn't want to be there for that chaos and that i knew that i was not going to be able to get to see or talk to anyone is this like a post trump security post trump shooting security thing no chairman fame was on tyt after you left no i know he michael sure got the interview before i ever talked to him but he's also like waiting at the entrance of the pen like i was gonna have a specific space journalists are actually being turned away now chill press area way over capacity just saw ta coats get turned away yo it's like it's real casual like that everyone who's like pro-palestine just accidentally happens to be yo that, that's what i was thinking <laughs> that's what i was thinking while i was watching getting clapped at the dnc i'm not even kidding i know it's like it's not deliberate it's not by design it's deliberate and it's by design shut the fuck up and i know that they're not doing it on purpose but it is funny that like anyone who has criticized the dnc on the palestine front is just like hey by the way sorry you just can't be in this location how is that i don't even think it's on purpose i don't think it's on purpose i think it actually is like overbooked it's on purpose shut the fuck up turkish man look this Kellyanne conway got let through a staff door well i guess we don't have that kind of Riz, dude, I we are not as valuable to the to the Democratic Party as Kellyanne Conway. Jesus Christ, this is going to. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something right now. This is gonna piss off the media so goddamn much. If you think like the New York Times fact check stuff was crazy the other day when they were like Donald Trump's size is actually a thick eight, <laughs> like you know, fact check Donald Trump's size. What is this? Pack to the rafters. Why did you send this to me? Anyway. My point is, my point is, it's going to, they're going to be so much more aggressive in terms of, of how they're, how they're operating. Dude, I'm, I can't, I am, dude, I have, I'm Lisa and al -Gaib, baby. Call me Lisa and al -Gaib the way I have the foresight, the way I have the vision. An interesting tell me, tell me how this wasn't the best move of all time. Okay. We were going to be sitting around, thumb up our, like waiting for an interview that was never going to be able to happen. Okay. We were literally going to be in there. Instead, I'm in my so. I think he was supposed to interview a few people like AOC, Ilhan Omar. It was just not going to happen, right? <laughs> you think you're going to let this guy who's pro-Palestine interview Ilhan Omar, who's also one of the few, one of like three pro-Palestine politicians in, in the U.S. as a whole, bro? Like, you think that's going to happen at the DNC, the demon Nazi convention? That's just not going to happen. You don't need to be the, the, you know, Nostradamus, Nostradamus. You don't need to be Nostradamus to see that that was just not going to happen. This, the Democrat party is way, way more Zionist than even the Republicans. The Republicans are just pretenders at this point. They're just trying to catch up. The Democrats is way, way more infiltrated by Ipak Shakur, bro. The DNC. West Side Bad Boy Killers, Ipak Shakur. That's the DNC is way more infiltrated. That's just not gonna happen. They just they they can pretend. They can pretend and they can give a lot of excuses like yo, this is double booked, <laughs> double book, double book. We need this space. You get this for week, whatever, whatever. But yo, like you gotta be dumb to not see. It. It's quite obvious. Okay, all right. Weed ass hotel room. I get to go to sleep early. I get to react. And I will say this, I wasn't like moderating my position when I was in there. I wasn't like saying anything that I normally wouldn't say, but I will say this, okay? Bro is coping. Is bro coping? No, I cannot pay attention. In that room, it was like virtually impossible. It was virtually impossible to pay attention. I think my commentary wasn't as good. You were yourself the whole way and got free interviews out of it? Yeah. I, I never compromised on my values. I never compromised on my on my views. But honestly, it was that shit was not. That's why you got kicked the f out. Easy. Like it was like I, I mean obviously I was I was down to even f around to a degree where like I straight up played the Kamala Harris wants to f your children in that song in front of the DNC handlers that I had. They were like standing in the corner. I mean they weren't handlers, but they were like they were very nice. To be fair, I do think. It's true, but it does kind of display how out of touch the DNC are with your world and influence. Would they have done that with any mainstream media, possibly with far less reach? No, they would not. But remember, the mainstream media pays for those uh, slots. Like, they have to pay for it. So it's a little 
I mean, it, it like that's what the New York Times guy was saying. I would never pay for that. And I think they were kicking everyone out of those booths. You weren't in a permanent press spot. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure they just like cleared everybody out. It just sucks. Especially because there was another, there was literally another space that I could go to, but they were just like, no, you can't go there. New York Times guy was trying to tell you that this event wasn't as big until Joe got out and all the VIPs are rolling in. No, he was talking, he was talking about something different. He was talking about the, the influencers that they worked with. They were saying that they were having a hard time getting influencers to work with. And, and I think that's the reason why they got like the sh crop of influencers. Maybe, I don't know. That's what he Seemed like that's what he was trying to say. Look, it worked out. Why did they take your credentials? They didn't. I have them still here. They only took, they didn't take my DNC credentials. They took my credentials to the, to the floor, to that floor specifically. Right after I said, oh, well, they kept us. They kept, they. Yeah, I don't think it was like, oh, it's chaotic, whatever. Maybe it was chaotic and they had to kick the few people out and they were just going through the list. Oh, this guy, pro-Palestine, get him the f*** out. <laughs> this guy, pro-Palestine, get him the f*** out. That's why there was like a John Stewart bit about how it was a John Stewart bit, right? You know what? Let's watch that John Stewart bit. Americans, they had black Americans, Hispanic Americans, Asian Americans, gay Americans, Jewish Americans, Palestinian Americans. Oh. <laughs> yo, well, yo. To be fair, it was only four nights, eight hours a night. <laughs> yo. They had Americans, <laughs> Hispanic Americans. That's brilliant, bro. That's it. 20 seconds is all you need. 20 seconds. This guy. Palestinians were not allowed to speak at the demon Nazi convention. What you thought was going to happen? It's the demon national convention. It's practically an Aipak Shakur concert, bro. It's an Aipak Shakur concert. You think you were going to get in? You think they're not going to kick you out? Like, are you dumb, bro? Nah, they're not going to let no pro-Palestine motherfuckers in there. No way. It's a demon Nazi convention. What you thought was going to happen. They've always been a demon Nazi. They've got one of the oldest Zionists in the world, Joe Biden. Genocide Joe. It's, yo, come on, man. It's, it's like, it's, it's just practically an IPAC Shakur concert, bro. Uh, just dancing or having fun, you know, <laughs> at the expense of children being genocided. These motherfuckers don't give a F, bro. They are corrupt. They are worse than demons. Demons don't do genocide, bro. These are the real demons. I, I went too deep. I went too deep. I went satanic. I went too deep. That's all for now. Peace. Yup, 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 yup.